दिस अपील इज डायरेक्टेड अगेंस्ट द जजमेंट एंड ऑर्डर कॉमा ऑफ द दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट बाय विच इट अलाउड द अपील्स ऑफ द टू रिस्पॉन्डेंट्स कॉमा सेट असाइड द जजमेंट एंड डिग्री पास्ड बाय द ट्रायल कोर्ट and permitted the appellants to file their written statements within 4 weeks from the date of the judgment comma directing further that the trial court would then proceed with the suit and dispose it of in accordance with law full stop the appellant messrs hdfc instituted a suit under order 37 of the civil code procedure comma 1908 comma for realization of its dues against defendant number 1 and the two respondents who were the guarantors to the loan full stop according to the case of the appellant plaintiff comma and defendant number 1 who was the owner of a plot of land approached the appellant plaintiff for a loan for constructing a house on the plot full stop the loan was sanctioned defendant number 1 executed the loan agreement and a promissory note in favor of the appellant full stop in addition defendant number 1 also created inequitable mortgage in favor of the plaintiff by depositing the title deeds of the plot in question full stop the other two defendants comma respondents before this court comma stood guarantee for repayment of the loan and executed the letters of guarantee full stop on the execution of the necessary documents the loan was disbursed to defendant number 1 in two installments full stop the loan amount comma along with interest at the rate of 15% per annum was to be repaid in equalized monthly installments over a period of 180 months and in case of default comma according to the terms of the loan comma the outstanding would attract additional interest at 18% per annum full stop the defendants defaulted in payment of the emis and as a result comma a large sum was outstanding against them full stop the defendants did not pay the installments despite letters and demanders full stop hence comma the plaintiff invoked the guarantees comma and intimated the two respondents that in case of failure to make the payment comma legal proceedings would be instituted against them full stop despite the aforesaid letter and legal notices sent on behalf of the appellant comma the defendants did not pay the outstanding amount of rupees 4 lakh comma and the plaintiff was thus left with no option but to institute the suit for the realization of its dues from defendant number 1 and the guarantors of the said loan as such